guys, welcome to today's video. Today is is Wednesday, and we're headed to the barn to ride our boys and to have a lesson and Gabby's dream, to realize Gabby's dream. We're headed now down to the barn. It's our day to take care of the horses, which I like. I just like sleeping in and, and getting up slowly better. Who remembers this? thing that we made a few years ago. I'm pretty sure we made them on, on our vlog. It is just a big old stick and some twine that we made into a jewelry holder, a necklace holder for the girls. Sophie brought hers downstairs and wants to actually start wearing jewelry so she wants to sort through all her jewelry, it's all her necklaces. Cool. Like who knows what this is? What is this? Oh, it's just a diamond. Anyway, they have a lot of horse necklaces. Like that one says Finn. I would keep that on forever. That one says Finn. This one they all say says Finn. Finn. They all say Finn. There's, there's a silver one too. Yeah, like she has all those ones. She got them from two different people for Christmas. She has, let's see here. Well, one's for Christmas, one, two are for Easter. <sighs> She also has a giant spider necklace. Like, who the heck would... Dad I... gave that to me. Yeah, Dad is weird. He gives me all the weird stuff. Yeah. Just wait here. There's a horse head. Whoops. There's a horse head necklace. And there is a Pegasus. Is this a Pegasus or a unicorn? Can't see. Mom, you're one. taking them all off. Oh, gosh. You're taking them all off. Oh, gosh. All right. But anyway, we're going oh down to God. the... <laughs> we're going down to the barn. Yeah, Daisy's eyeing it. She's like that. Those are mine. You put those down and I will have those in my crate so fast. Daisy is like that kind of dog that is crazy and funny and quirky and weird and it's amazing like that. I love her the best because she's just so funny but she also has quirky things about her. Like she steals everything and takes it to her crate. Everything she can find. And she watches what everybody has. She puts it in her head. Hmm, I want that for later. That's what you do, isn't it? And she looks and she notices. And then just when we look away, she snatches it and runs to her crate. I also have this one, which is very special. Yeah, this one, some uh, fan sent her. It's so special. It's Stella and Cookie, right? Oh, it's Cookie. Oh, it's just all Cookie? It's all up for cookie. Isn't that so nice? I didn't have a chain to put it on, so I put it on with this horse head. Yeah, that's so nice. Sophie's been building this barn, and she has all these, all this stuff. This is what she does at night. I come down in the morning, and the coffee table is always a mess, filled with stuff. All this stuff was sitting just like that. Yeah, see? That is what she does. <laughs> She knows all the stuff. She knows where all the good stuff is. She knows where everything she wants is. She knows how to get it. She's a counter surfer. But if we stomp her foot and say no, she knows that that means no. It gets her attention. The vibration Not on the, the floor. Popsicle sticks. Go look in her cage. Yeah, go look in her cage. All those popsicle sticks, she just steals them. But anyways, welcome to today's video and a little insight into the crazy world of owning a Dalmatian and having a deaf dog because that's what our life is all about. This is the second barn Sophie's making. She took my advice and put wood on the outside. I told her she should put wood on the inside too. But she made stall doors that look like this and she's making like a little pen on this side to put animals in. These are not doors. These are walls. Yeah, those are walls. All right, let's go. We are late. I have not seen Gabby's face yet this morning, but we will see her down at the barn. It's gonna be a miserable day. How can you tell, Laura? Because it's cold. It's so cold. You guys, this year has been such a year of growth for me. Spiritual growth, emotional growth, and I've learned so many things. I've become way less afraid. But not only that, oh, it's cold. Go ahead, put it in. You said I have to wait for you to open the door to put them in. Oh learned about karma in a whole different way than normal. I've learned that being selfless and giving of yourself to others that need you more, even though it's hard and even though you think you need more than giving to others when they need them, when they need you or they need something, 
even when it's a struggle for you or even when it's hard for you, it creates this whole situation of, car of karma where when you give of yourself or things, stuff comes back to you, like so much good comes back to you. Like I'm discovering this whole new side of karma that I never even knew that you could, con con that you could control. Oh my gosh. Gabby, no, we do not fight in the barn, Gabby. She wants it. So the thing is, Sophie's almost as big as Gabby now, you guys. I don't know if I videoed it, I think I did. I posted it on Instagram. But, if you guys can see, Gabby's time of reckoning is among us, is upon us. It's true Gabby runs faster than Sophie though. It's a good thing. And Sophie gives up faster than Gabby. No, she's scared of me now. She's scared of you now? Yeah, watch. <laughs> Sophie also is coming into her power for the first time. Gabby, stop! Stop now! Oh good, so you'll drive me to the post office? Yeah, Sophie sold another bracelet. We have to go to the post office. Yeah. Sophie does breakfast, Gabby does lunch. Sophie puts it in a bucket because she doesn't want it all over her clothes. Uh oh. Yeah, she runs from Gabby. Oh. Well, yeah, so that is my plan, sisters and brothers. I plan to work on something really cool this winter. It's going to happen soon. We usually start after Christmas working with our mares. It's already better. No, I've got you. No, Gabby? It's already better. Gabby is climbing. Gabby's. <gasps> Oh. <laughs> Hurry, Gabby. Go fast. Go fast. Woo. <laughs> hey, as long as I got the hood, who cares about Gabby? <laughs> Just joking. Hey, Gabby, I broke it a tiny bit. Do you mm. see that little crack? Yeah, that's okay. What? This part came Wait, off. Gabby's I didn't break this part. Thing but that looks beautiful. So there's Chino and Storm. No. And no. there's Molly. And there's Gabby. Who thinks we need Storm, to add some gray Snow. to Gabby's and bays? Storm. And then there's Finny. Bays and, and Grays. Oh, that'd be a good YouTube channel name. Bays no, and Grays. I'm pretty sure it's, it's taken. It's mm -hmm. Bays before boys. Yeah. All right. So today we're going to bring up these and I'm going to see what I need to do to make them You're winter awesome worthy. Boys. I have three necks. You're I feel awesome. like I have another neck than this. With our boys being outside all the time in the winter, I want to make sure that they're warm enough. And that might mean layering blankets. And it might mean... What? Well, it is going to mean having necks. So, Storm does not. Hey, somebody needs to get this bucket. I did grain. Uh, Gabby. Okay, you empty the bucket. She didn't empty it. Wait, Gabby, wait. Take this so she can empty the bucket, please. Chores are done. Chores are done, people. Woo. Or you done, people. Now we gotta go be. Now we have to rush through school so we can get to the barn because we have a busy day at the barn. All the dogs rush to the house every day. This dog won't. Well, now she does. She only comes if her owner is coming. She only waits for Sophie. Always, she has to check on Sophie and make sure she's coming. We are here and we are a bit late. We're a bit late, you guys. Yes, we're here. It's your day, Gabby's going that way to get the other boy. Hello, come on. Let's go, what are you guys doing down there? 
hanging out with the girl. Come on, lazy bones. I think they like it down here because it's nice and flat. Too bad your hay wasn't down here. Gabby's over there somewhere. Oh, I see her. I see her walking. Come here, Finn. Come to me. Go, Finn. He's going to poop. Oh, he's like, I will come to you. The thing I like about Penny is that no matter where I walk, she's so mindful of my feet. This horse is mindful of his eyes and what they see. He doesn't care about my feet. So I have to be super careful. Apparently it's going to get super warm again soon. I'm waiting for Gabby. I don't like her to like go by herself even though she's big enough but accidents happen all the time especially like in bad footing or like bad weather and with horses like you can never like you can be as safe as you want to be and accidents can still happen I see the dogs throwing running so I think that means she's coming all right horse number one horse number two Gina's like what and horse number three. And Finn's like, yeah. Please skip my horse. Please All right. Skip him. One, two, three. I'm sorry. I have these stools that ugh, I want to bring in and see if they'll work here. So we have our group lesson every week, and then we at least try and have a private lesson every week, sometimes more. We'll see how it goes over the winter, what we need and it, as it gets closer to show season. We've been discussing what we want to do with this boy. Like, sounds like maybe a lease is a good idea until we figure it out because like a lot of you guys said, and like Brandon said, this is not like a jump on, ride him, take him in the hunter ring in the summer kind of a ride. He's the kind of ride that like she has to work on him and work on a bond and like it's just not enough time to, to take him and go out there and do the hunters with him. He's a jumper. If she was into that, it would be way easier. So we're still trying to figure out how it would work with both of them. As Chino licks the metal. You're so weird. <laughs> so but we'll keep you guys posted. Sophie, Gabby enjoys riding him so much. I hate to say this because it sounds awful, but it's possible that Chino is not the right horse for Gabby and she would have to sell him. And the reason is, is because at this level of her riding, she has dreams that she wants to do. She, she just wants to show. She wants to show at a higher level and just do the course. She doesn't even care if she wins and I don't care if she wins, but we will never sell you. He's trying to kill you. Don't worry. <laughs> and say it in front of him. We don't know, but nothing is going to be done anytime soon because we love this boy. He's doing well. And if she can make him work for the Hunter show series this summer, then that would be great. Uh, if we buy the Grayfin, then Brendan will continue to help us with him and we'll continue to train ride him and continue to show him himself. So lots of options. We still don't know. Like I said, we're letting God decide. Oh, Gabby's riding dressage today. You're riding dressage. But does he need you to see if the, like, why are you riding dressage? It's flatting. It's not riding dressage. You're flatting in a dressage saddle. So Brandon turned on the room already. Got the new set, the new stools in here. Try them out. Gotta be the first one. So now four people can sit here. So Sam will sit. What do you think? I personally like stools with a back on them better. I do too, but these things are like... Yeah, stools don't last long. He's curling up his lip. <laughs> is that what that is? <laughs> He's grooming them. Finn's like, mm, no. I th Yeah, they are both, Finn's are awkward. But I think they've met over the fence. Finn, our... Finn has has a, got so our Finn has a lot of facial yeah. deformities now. He has a bite above his eye right there. Yeah, so new. <laughs> so Brandon has this horse, and he also has a really nice hunter horse. But the hunter horse doesn't hold Gabby's heart. Why? Why can't it just be easy? That the Finns are getting to know each other. The saddle is so sleepy. I know. Did you like the saddle? 
All right, so everybody's he's scared never, of the... He's slammed on the brakes, trotting around it. And then he goes and canters up to it, steps right in it, and I'm like, you're so dumb. Good boy, then. Eyes up. There, see, as soon as she looks up. Yeah, good boy. Oh, what a good boy! Look at that! And our fan is just like, yeah, it's nothing. You guys, I hate to say it, but I am falling in love with that horse. Like, in my heart, I'm already seeing him as ours. I'm sorry, Sam. I don't know what to do with that exactly, but we can lease him to secure him. <laughs> until we decide for sure and that might be something that we do the only problem i have is that i don't want her to stop riding chino because he's doing great and there he is our bay with pink <laughs> he's embarrassed he's like oh why <laughs> she says he doesn't like them on his back legs <laughs> Brandon helped her and um, she's learning to do them so that they're safe and Gabby also is the kind of person that will always be the kind of person that goes more loose instead of too tight she would never want to hurt him she's a very cautious person he's like oh man where are all my friends all right and there's Chino with the Liverpool Let's see if he will do it Grayfin was is definitely more nervous about it. My Finn's at least. And Gabby got him going over it really good. Yeah, and uh, Finn, Sophie's Finn, is the least afraid of it. But Chino did really good. Chino does good. He's such a good boy. Way. I'm going to go out there and film in just a few minutes. But currently, we are availing ourselves of the warmth. Also, Sophie wants you guys to see that there's Gracie. There's a picture in here and he's got Gracie. Literally, this horse has started hugging again, being like energetic again. Like I can't get over it. I can't, the change in him is shocking. All right, Chino had his carrot stretches. Then he had his carrot stretches. And if Grayfin had his carrots, these are gonna be our horses, I have a feeling. I just feel it, you guys. I feel it so strong. I'm not rushing. I'm not doing anything. I just feel that horse in my heart. You know what happens when I feel a horse in my heart? I just wish he was a cheaper horse yeah, in my heart. No. So the good thing about Grayfin is that he doesn't need shoes. Hold on, don't bite him. He doesn't need shoes, he just wears them for show season because show horses have to have shoes, you, you know. I love them all. I love all the ponies. Three in a row. You think we can handle it? Think we can handle it? Straight to water. He's going to water. Good boy. Is Gabby okay? Oh, she don't turn over to get water. Yeah, he's going straight to water. And Finn's gone straight to food. Now he's coming to escape. For the first time, our horses don't want to go into their paddock. They want to come with us. So many different variables with horses. Like, so many. Goodbye. Don't fight. Eating snow? Go drink water like Chino. Go. Go. <laughs> He's like, I will eat the snow. <laughs> yeah, it's not supper time yet. He's eating the snow in his bucket. Tino's like, I know it's supper time. I'm coming. <laughs> you know, it's like three hours early. Three hours early. Aw, you got strength oh, and hi. power. We love you. Don't kiss Tino, he'll bite your face. All right, let's go. Don't you know that you're beautiful?